two Sukkot here in Dubai. There's a community of about 250 people, uh, of course, with uh, COVID and, and different restrictions uh, concerning health. Not everyone can congregate, but there is a minyan. So uh, the first sukkah is actually uh, outside of a hotel, uh, Al Habtur Palace, and that is where the official community is based. Rabbi Sarna, the uh, official uh, chief rabbi of the UAE, flew in. He's based in New York. He's uh, with NYU and has been traveling here since 2004. So already there was Jewish life here in Dubai. The second is uh, Chabad operated, and it's here right, right outside of the Burj Khalifa. Uh, I assume you've seen some of the pictures. So yes, this year is very exciting, and the community is really, really excited to be able to display. But they are saying that for the past several years, they have felt like they are able to live openly and practice Jewish life. The Jewish community uh, that it was established in 2014, they have been holding uh, Shabbat services. Since then, today with COVID, they have a Zoom Shabbat service that is attended by about uh, 50 to 150 people every week. And what's amazing about this Zoom Shabbat services, which I've also uh, been happy to join, is that they feature officials, Emirati officials. So last week, uh, the Minister of Youth attended, and the week beforehand, the uh, UAE ambassador to Washington. And uh, the Shabbat service ends with a prayer for the, uh, the sheikhs and the leaders of the UAE. And it's the only community here that actually says a prayer for Khayel Sal. Okay. the soldiers of the IDF. Michelle, I think, really I think see... next year, if there will still be a sukkah or two uh, in Dubai, then hopefully a lot more people will be able to come. COVID-19 will be a, a distant memory and people will be able to, to celebrate there. But let's talk about the existing Jewish community. You mentioned around 250 people. I'm guessing mostly expats from around the world, not so much Israelis. Uh, what characterizes that community? Mostly businessmen? Well, first of all, yes, expats. And just like Dubai is mainly expats, uh, so is the, the Jewish community. And there are businessmen ranging from uh, uh, the diamond sector to financial. Uh, and what, uh, really, um, what is really special and unique about this community, it is modern orthodox, but there are people of all different denominations. And so they're really able to kind of find this very uh, special united voice of Judaism that doesn't really exist anywhere else because there aren't that many Jews here. Dubai is the largest Jewish community in the UAE, but, you know, 250 is on probably its best day, and more and more people are now starting to feel comfortable and come out and really join that community more openly. So I do believe that the community will grow. Just a year ago, the community was half that size. Um, so the community, again, modern Orthodox, but you will find uh, religious, secular, all different uh, denominations with Rabbi Sarna from New York leading it. Okay, Michelle Devon in Dubai, thank you. Enjoy um, the beautiful scenery there for us as well.